Hi, this is Russ Anderson. This is going to be just a quick introduction to the 2D export of synth eyes to After Effects, which produces animated corner pens. So here we're going to take these windows and we're going to create a 3D planar tracker on them. And I'll point out that the same process works whether it's a 2D or 3D planar tracker inside of Synthize here. It's a bit more interesting to do it as a 3D tracker. So here I'm just rescaling and positioning this a bit. And now I'll just track it through the shot. And you'll notice there's an increasing amount of it that's off the edge of the uh, source image. And that really doesn't make any difference as long as there's enough of the remaining portion of the image to track. So there I've got our track locked up and now we can go and fire up the corner pen export. And this has many fewer options than the 3D export. So I'm just going to let this go. You notice we have run now set so this is going to do it bam right into After Effects immediately. And here you see our placeholder up there and it is nicely tracking along. If we go and try and look in the four different views, you see they're all the same. This is just a 2D camera set up inside of After Effects. And the, the effect that's sitting on this tracker is a corner pin. And the coordinates have been animated to track as they're needed to keep this in the right spot. And you'll notice that because of the way the planar tracker works and all, it doesn't matter that part of it has gone completely off the edge of the screen. It matters not. So this is a nice way to address, you know, relatively simple tasks like uh, monitor inserts and you know changing the logo on a sign, whatever, that you can just go and work inside of the 2D environment of After Effects and do something like this. It's just an alt drag into that. And, you know, there we go. We've got, you know, a new, new version of that window stuck up there. So it's a nice, simple, quick and easy way to go for occasions where you don't need the 3D environment. Thanks.